Are you serious? Right, welcome to How to Kill an Hour Then, the podcast about tech. He is Marcus Bronzy and I am Nick Bright. Yo, what's happening, Nick, bro? Uh, I'm all good, mate. I'm all good. Uh, I, yeah. How's life been? Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm, it's still life in the world is opening up. I feel like there's more events that we can kind of go to and normality. I feel like it's... It's not 100% there, but it's close. I mean, you were out, weren't you, this week? You went and saw Burner Boy in concert, didn't you? I was at, 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 at. They say. You know <laughs> what I mean? I was at, at. I went out, out, out. Um, yeah, no, it was good. Um, I went to the O2 Arena, which is uh, obviously a massive arena in the UK. Not the biggest arena, though. Uh, common misconception. People think the O2 Arena in the UK is the biggest indoor arena. It's actually not. Mm. How, what, what's, is? What, what is the biggest? Is it MEN? It, it was, I don't think it's called MEN anymore. Oh, it is, it is, <laughs> it is the Manchester Arena. Um, it's, it's Sorry. The biggest, it's the biggest arena in the UK. If you don't yeah. believe me, fact check it. But anyway, yeah. I went Sorry, to the, the AO Arena. It's called the AO Arena. Hey, hey oh, let's, let's go. go. It's, it's so funny when you try and do stuff in unison over clean feed because there's obviously a delay and it just doesn't work. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so I went to the O2, which was, um, which was a bit mad because, you know, just like the the past 18 months or so we've been encouraged to stay away from people and not be around people and even if we are around people it's like don't get too close to them make sure it's only people you know nah, 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 nah. then it was just like a, 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 a complete free-for-all at the o2 but i mean the whole thing's farcical now anyway don't get me started on this the whole thing's farcical because like you go to work and I'm sure people can relate to this. You go to work and it's like your bosses and that are saying, oh, you've got to social distance when you're doing this and blah, blah, blah. But uh, enjoy getting the tube home. It's like, well, what's the whole point of all of this shit then? The tube's rammed. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's bloody stupid. But anyway, uh, the Burner Boy show was good at the O2 Arena. Um, not going to lie. I did bouge it up a little bit because I wasn't, um, let's just put it this way. I wasn't a uh, general admission, you know. Uh, I was a... Uh, Sitting in a box, you know, where you get a uh, free food and drink. It was great. Okay, free food and drink. You live in that. You live in that bright life, yeah. The it bright was life. Great man. You know, what I mean, to, first gig back straight in the box. I'm here for <laughs> it. You know what I mean? Because that's how that's how I want to live. You know, I'm a, I'm an age I'm at an age in my life now where all of that flipping, being in the in the in the mosh pit and the main bit of the crowd and all of that. I'll pass on that now, you know, I'm at a stage in my life where I want a nice seat and I want drinks brought to me, big up the woman in the box that was like, cause you have, you have a person in your box, you have like in the O2, you have like your own bar in the box and, um, every box has got it and, and they bring you your drinks and that. Mm. It's so sick. You, so so you and they literally even had draft beer. Draft beer in bottles. the box. Yeah. You know what I mean, a little cheeky draft beer. I was a, I was rough though. I'm not going to lie afterwards. Did you, you have a few beverages? You know, when it's free, bro, it's like, well, you know, it's free. Might as well have some more. Like, because it's free. If you're paying for it, you'd probably be like, I've had enough now. You know what I mean? But when they're just bringing them free, I'm like, keep them coming. Do you know what? I go through phases and sometimes I'm like, when I'm trying to like be a little drink, a little bit less, I feel like that's when all the free drinks are around. But once in a while I hit a sweet spot where I'm like, you know what? I feel like having a couple of beverages tonight and you go in the place and they're like, would you like another drink, sir? And you're like, yeah, go on. And they're like, and you know when you know you know when you know that um whoever's giving out free drinks on your side, and they're like, shall I just leave an extra one there for you in case? Just just I'll give you an extra drink there there for you. That's just for you. And you're like, yeah, this guy's this guy's working with me tonight. He wants yeah, me to yeah, have a yeah, good yeah. time. You get me? Well, it's like a couple couple of weeks ago. I don't I can't even think. I can't remember if we spoke about this on the pod. A couple of weeks ago, I went to the to the Major League Baseball event that you couldn't come. You couldn't come. Did we speak about that on the pod? No, nah, you didn't. Yeah, yeah, you couldn't come to it. So, so I have been out quite a, like quite a bit, but obviously the baseball event is nowhere near <laughs> as big as the O2 Arena. But like, like yeah. so I, I went to that, um, and that worked for me because it was it was down the road from where I live actually. So yeah. that 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 was that was really cool, and um, that was free drinks again. You know what I mean? So I got a little bit drunk that night. I could tell. There's I a theme tell. emerging here. <laughs> Like when it when there's free drinks on the cards, it's like, well, you know, might as well take yeah, some of these free yeah, drinks. Yeah. But when when you have to pay for them, especially in London, mate, flipping hell. So, yeah. You gotta spend a hundred quid just to feel tipsy in London. <laughs> Fuck 
that. They're I, free though. I do remember at the end of that Major League Baseball event though, I think there was a st- story and you're like, yeah, so we're just doing that. that. I was like, oh, he's at, someone's had a couple. He's enjoying himself. He's enjoying himself. What was that? What, an Insta story? <laughs> yeah, I think, but you were in the background, but I just heard like a slight slur like, yeah, it was just going over here. Yep, yeah, great night. I was like, oh, he's had a few <laughs> lemonades. He's enjoying himself. What were you, what was actually happening at that, at that LMB event anyway? Um, so they had like batting cages. Right. Um, Big Zoo was hosting, um, it was DJs. You could get a, a baseball card like made up, for Sick. You, uh, which was which was nice. Um, yeah, and it was just a decent night to be honest with you. They had loads of food and stuff like that, uh, and yeah, like I, I really really enjoyed it. The the only downside is that it was so hot in there. Like e. like when I say so hot, I mean like people were just standing around sweating, you know, when like girls hair is all like stuck to their head and that, like, oh, shit. it's so hot. And then like, you, if you tried to go in the batting cages, obviously you're even hotter because you're swinging a, a flipping baseball Jeez. bat around. But then because it was so hot, the actual um, machines that were like spitting out the baseballs, well, they weren't baseballs because it's too much of a small space to have mm. an actual hard baseball. Um, but the thing that was spitting out the balls, it was too hot for that to operate. So they had to turn them all off. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was, it was mad because it was too hot in there and um, they, they kept getting jammed. So they had to turn them off. Was that during the heat wave that you went a couple of weeks back? Was it no, just, not, just not hot? even bro. It was just like, I, I don't know. It was all right at the beginning of the night. And then I don't know, maybe the air combra, I, I don't know, but it just got mad hot. Mm, all right fair enough but yeah it was it was a decent night you know what i mean i enjoyed it fair enough mm, all right so exciting for some uh i don't know what, what I, well, I, mate, I, you were invited you had to you couldn't <laughs> come you bailed it <laughs> don't t- give it all that who'd you roll you with dan though in it dan he's yeah, a yeah. good guy he's a good guy yeah, is it dan blake loving it, mate. yeah 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 was, good guy he, this guy he was taking the batting cage serious really you know i mean yeah yeah <laughs> you, was he what was he like i have to get a, i have to get a proper hit or yeah, well he went first yeah and like it's harder than it looks trust me like you just keep you just keep fucking missing it bruv like i missed about 15 in a row no contact you know when you're just swinging swinging not even hitting the ball no contact and then like i maybe hit about three out of 20 and it's <laughs> like they didn't even like they weren't like sweet connections and mm. then we wanted to go again and then that's when they had to switch all the machines off Oh, all right, fair enough. All right. I th- yeah, it's it's hard though. It's a lot harder than you it, you think, and it also doesn't it hurt a bit when you miss as well. Yeah, it's like when you go to you remember when you were younger and you used to go to kick a football and you yeah. miss it, and it's like you hyperextend your knee, yeah, like that, <laughs> or kick the floor. <sighs> yeah. Oh, I remember doing that once. You see, have you seen that video of? Uh, do you remember when everyone was doing that toilet roll challenge at the start of lockdown? <laughs> yeah, yeah, people yeah. were doing kick ups with toilet roll because nobody had which was which in my in my opinion in in my opinion was absolutely disgusting and frivolous because people couldn't get hold of toilet rolls and then you got other dudes showing off doing kick ups with their toilet yeah. roll. They're like, I got so much fucking shit paper that I'm doing kick ups with it, you know what I mean? It's like people wiping their nose with money. That's what I'm saying, <laughs> bastards. But anyway, there's this one video of the, there's a kid filming his dad doing it and uh, uh, he, he's not very good. He, he gets out of his control and then he tries to like swing for it and he kicks the the wall instead. Ooh, like full pelt oh, kicks the wall. I can't believe you ain't seen oh, it. Oh, no, I probably deleted that from my memory. Broken Toesville. Ooh. Yeah, he full pelt kicks the wall, man. And I'm like... Ooh, oh, that's on the edge of what I can watch. Oh, that's painful, man. That's painful. So yeah, you, you've been back out in the real world. I can't wait for us to start going to events. We've not done any events yet. There is some stuff coming up me and you can go to. It'd be good to do that, man. I'm yeah, looking yeah. forward to it. I'm down. I was doing, <laughs> doing something totally opposite. I was trying out a new a new vacuum cleaner, Nick. So it's, it wasn't as exciting as you going out. It's called the Lupe Pure Vacuum Cleaner. Um, and it has got, well, it claims to have some of the best suction ever. So I was like, all right, cool. Send me a Hoover. I'll have a go. Because you know what? Out of chores, I've got to say, as a, I don't know if it's a man thing, but Hoovering, I'm all right with Hoovering. Hoovering, I feel like, is something I can do and enjoy. Scrubbing a, a toilet, not so much. Wiping down surfaces, not so much. So when they said try this Hoover, I was like, okay, let's see how it can improve my Hoover experience. Now, currently... My, well, my previous Hoover, shall I say, before I got this, was an old school Henry Hoover, Nick. Have you ever been experienced? Have you ever experienced a Henry Hoover? I have. Legendary yeah. Hoover in the game, of course. Absolute ledge. Like the red tub, 
long uh, long uh, 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 plastic hose. arm. Yeah, that's it. Long hose. That's it. Henry's nose, as I used to call it. And then like, yeah, suction. That's that was what I've used to Hoover um, for like ten years plus. So when all this new stuffs come out, I've been like, oh, that's nice, but my Hoover works, isn't it? So whatever. Um, but the Slupe vacuum came along, and apparently it lasts up to sixty minutes. Uh, and has a, a, a easy to use head, so you don't need to change it all the time. Um, but what 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 was cool about it for me was is that one, it was a bit smaller than my Henry <laughs> because I don't right. every time I get a Henry out of the cupboard, I gotta like screw it together. Uh, it's a bit big. It is big. It is big. And Henry had he's two. A big lad, yeah, he's a big lad. Yeah, I me mean, with a big long hose. So I got to attach the hose to to everything. Um, and this just kind of because it's like that new style of Hoover just stands up in the corner. Do you know what I mean? Kind of neat. Um, and in terms of it vacuum, I mean, if I'm honest, it sucked, it sucked well. It was, a, it had good suction. <laughs> it hoovered well. It was, it was cool. It was enjoyable. It uh, sucks. It, it sucks. In a good it? way. It sucks in a good way. Yeah. And it was probably a bit stronger than my Henry. I didn't use it for the whole 60 minutes that it apparently works for. Cause, uh, I didn't have that much hoovering to be, do, to do. But what was cool is that it like has this little arm. Like, cause you know, the Henry has that long hose, it has this little hose that you can pull out the back at the bottom of it, which stops it sucking up the floor. And then you can put little attachments on it and like wipe it across things and suck stuff up. Well, I'll be honest with you. I can't go on for it for much longer than that because it worked, bruv. Do you know what I mean? It just, bro, it was a fun little hoover. It hoovered. There's too much talk of sucking on this episode already. You like absolute perv. There's, it's just, it's just too off putting. <laughs> We're just we're chatting and then like you it sucked real good and it sucked this and you get that hose. You're talking about hose and sucking as well, you know what I mean? Hose and sucking. Like there's a lot going on here, bro. <sighs> Should point out with if you if, if somehow you've just walked in the room or someone's listening to this, we are talking about Hoovers. Yeah, we are, we are, we are, we are talking about Hoovers. And from Hoovers, uh, yeah, so that's it. We're gonna do a, a, or, a or vacuum cleaner, we should say. Like, we should, because, shouldn't we? Yeah, we should. Because Hoover is the brand. Yeah. We should, we should indeed. Now, actually, Nick, I've got something, you know, uh, to move on from Hoover's. Yeah, that's the Hoover. I do rate it, by the way. It's very nice. It's cool. Check it out. I've got a link in, in the show description. Um, what I will say, though, Nick, is I found a story you're going to absolutely love. You are going to love this, Nick. Astronomers right. have discovered a new class of planets which could support life, greatly accelerating the search for life outside the solar system. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here we go again. In the search for life. Outside the solar system. Oh, yeah. That's right. Researchers have looked for planets of a similar size and a mass. That's a mass. That's what they've looked for in the past, right? They've looked for similar temperatures, atmospheric How's it gone composition. In the past? Not so well. Not so yeah. well. Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody stupid this is. But they've identified a new type you of planet. You know how I feel about all of this. <laughs> Mate, right. I'm trying to think like Bezos, innit? That's oh, what I want to wow. think like. <laughs> how long does it take to get to this new planet? How many how many billions of light years? Well, you know, I mean, it will t it will take a while, Nick, to get to these planets. But the fact is, is that they, they find. <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm no I'm no extinction rebellion. But like, how about we just concentrate on our own gaff? You know, you know, instead of these ones that are billions of miles away that we don't even have the tech to reach yet. I feel like we've got to a bit of a point where we're kind of like, oh, we fucked it here. <laughs> it's just, uh, that's it's a what bit it fucked. feels like. It's it feels fucked. like, fuck, yeah, we've yeah. really ruined this place. We need to go to another one and ruin that. Yeah. You know, like when you've, when you've left toast in the toaster for too long and it's burnt and you take it out and you think about scraping it and then you look at it and you go, nah, it's too <sighs> fucked. Yeah, got to go in no the bin. Saving this. Got to go Straight again. Bin, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Bit, bit of a waste, but what can you do, eh? Yeah take the rough with the smooth so they found this new type of habitable planets called high sea and planets because they're hot and they're covered with hydrogen rich atmospheres which are more numerous and observable than earth-like planets which means there's more options for us nick so i just thought i'd share that with you and uh, it means that we've got what we call the habitable zone when we're looking for planets that means that the, the habitable zone has a little bit wider now because if we can get these hydrogen rich planets on lock then we can survive in their kind of hot temperatures or cold temperatures and their high hydrogen atmospheres, which is it's good. I just want to share that with you, Nick, because I know you we love- we can't get there. We don't have the technology to get there. What do you like, mean? There's, we've, got, we've got billionaires going to space all the time. They're doing it all yeah, the time, Nick. They go they go to the, to the, the, the inner limit of space, <laughs> just into the inner limit and then back. 
this planet is not even in our own solar system. You know how long it take to get there. Like it's not like it's not like hopping on the bus with your oyster card. It's like it's it's we. I, it's madness. We're gonna be we're gonna be dead, 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 dead before they get to this place. You know what I mean? <laughs> us what, lot. I mean, our generation. What if they bring us back like robots? If you can upload yourself? Oh, I'd love that. Anyway, right, right. I'm being silly now. Anyway, Nick, back to the real world. You know, OnlyFans has got got come under fire recently because OnlyFans, let's be honest, is known as an adult entertainment site where you sign up, where you get exclusive content from people who take their bits out and do rude things with them. Now, OnlyFans has made their money off that for the last few years. OnlyFans, I think it was even referenced in flipping Kanye West's new album, Donda. Someone spoke about that. And, 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 it, and I was like, right, OnlyFans really is mainstream. But a few days ago, literally, OnlyFans said, right, moving forward, we are not going to let people have sex on our platform. So you can touch yourself, you can whip your bits up, but you can't have sex on our platform. And that got really misconstrued by the world, didn't it, Nick? Because by the time it got to Twitter, everyone was like, OnlyFans is cancelling porn. In all yeah. its formats, you will only be able to watch people doing art and talking about cartoons. But um, there was a load of there was a loads of uh, there's loads of contributors who are really upset because they've obviously made OnlyFans loads of money because every time they make a dollar, OnlyFans take a slice. And earlier this week, I'm happy to say the creator led social platform that was going full steam ahead with its po- everyone's calling it a porn man, but it wasn't a porn man. Uh, they would they've actually said that they are going to reverse this position which I think reversing a position is a very (laughs) interesting way of putting it. But in a tweet, the company confirmed that it was suspending its change. They said, thank you to everyone for making your voices heard. We've secured assurances necessary to support you and our diverse creator community and our policy on October the 1st has been suspended. Our policy change. OnlyFans stands for inclusion and we will continue to provide a home for all its creators. There we go. In other words, fuck, this is a bad decision. Yeah. Everyone's going to leave us. Sorry. We need, we need the porn. So, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Hi, we've looked at our money and sorry, sorry, please come back. Yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. Because we Basically, it's so funny, isn't it? It's like, is this going to affect our pockets? Yes, hugely. Mm. Yeah. Reverse the decision. It's yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. be honest about it, guys. You it's know so, what I mean? It's so funny because uh, sex sells, isn't it? And every platform that we use social media wise, it's so much easier for somebody to get engagement with Rudy's. So yeah. like... When you, it's like on Instagram. It's Mate, like, Instagram, it's like, yeah, 100%. It's right. like, it's like when you, like when girls put pictures up with their, ma- with their man or, you know, a pregnancy picture or an engagement picture or whatever. <sighs> when I say engagement, I mean like, you know, putting a ring on it. Yeah. It, it, way less than like if the same girl was to put up a bikini picture 100%. or, you know, a picture of her on a night out wearing like a tight dress and like, that's not me saying that's what I like. I'm saying that's just the way of the world. That's just the way it is. Exactly. Like I've, I look, look, it's TikTok, right? Is another, is a newer social media format. Should we say in its current iteration, they are doing their best to be like TikTok, learn, TikTok, create TikTok science, which is great. They're pushing the algorithm, but I'm telling you now, yeah, somebody who sits down and makes a science video. Yeah has got to put in a lot or a learning video has got to put in a lot more effort than some baddie turning around and jiggling it around. Yeah. Trust me. You were getting hits and that's just the way it is. And the way the algorithms work, if people look at it a few times or engage, right, it's going to do better. So if you do a nice little short little jiggle video, someone will be like, Oh, I've got to see that again. Oh, I've got to see that again. Oh, let me sh- share that with some people. Oh yeah. Ooh, yeah. And then it just does numbers. And again, me and Nick aren't judging you, but it's just it's just how it is. So it's really funny to watch these social media giants be like, please don't do sex on the platform. Please don't do sex on the platform. I think the only platform that's managed to really hold it down is YouTube. Like, and I think that's why there is stuff like, you know, your OnlyFans and stuff like that, because I think YouTube will probably be held accountable by the government if there were like long form videos of people bending over and skinning out. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Mental, but yeah, that's it. OnlyFans is going to stay. So for all of you, don't worry. Your subscriptions are all in place. You're going to make dough. There'll probably be some massive backlash about money being lost from creators in this whole time. But you know, we'll update you as we get to that. Anyway, moving on to the world of food. Wagyu beef has been 3D printed in a lab complete with marbling. Now this is exciting for me more than Nick because Nick doesn't really. You're not really a steak man, are you? You're a steak hate man. Steak, hate it. <laughs> so. 
really, really hate it. It's horrible. <laughs> it's fucking delicious. And the fact, that, the fact that it's being printed, it makes me feel even mm. more sick. Mm. It's been created. You, oh, you're going to love this then. It's been created using stem cells in a lab. And dare we say it, it raises <laughs> the stakes for consuming environmentally conscious meat. All right. Oh. So whilst previous lab grown meat comes out like mince, this fully featured steak will have a complex structure of fat, muscle and blood vessels that have been 3D printed, which produces the marbling effect that Wagyu beef is known for. Mm. So this might help with the more sustainable future of beef. So they've actually managed to print a steak, which means next, 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 Nick, they might be printing your chicken breasts for you. Because Nick, you, you do eat a chicken breast, don't you? You're a breast man. Uh, yeah, but I don't want fake I don't want it printed. Like, what is all this about? Like, I don't, like, I know, look, I understand that it's the way of the world where, or the circle of life, you know, animals being killed for food is cruel. I, mean, yeah. I don't disagree with that, right? Mm. But equally, people make a choice to eat it and that should be up to them. I don't, like, I'm not somebody who, like, gets it when vegetarians and vegans attack meat eaters and vice versa for that, for that matter. Mm -hmm. um, but just, I don't, like, if you choose to eat meat, I don't want to eat, like, a like a fake one, like a made-up one, like a, like, it's, it just creeps me out a bit. Can I be honest with you, Nick? Go on. I just want it to taste nice <laughs> and not, not hurt anyone. Does you out, though, that it's like... Um, like what is actually in it they use i mean i can give you all of the sciencey stuff like like they use uh tissues such as muscle and fat and integrate them so they use these stem cells called bovine satellite cells and they basically it's cells from body fat and they're able to produce the meat by printing cells that have been created so they've gotten cells made them into the beef what beef is made out of and squash them together and i think the idea is to kind of like stop the you know stop the mistreatment of animals so if an animal doesn't have to suffer and i can still get what is nutritionally right like i'm right nick if it's i need to know what's in it though innit? i'm not just gonna blindly eat it yeah um but if it, i think it's meant to like not hurt animals and i've got to a point where i'm just like as long as i know what's in it isn't hurting anyone i'm good sure. but at the same time i'd be lying to everyone if you knew the listener if i told you i didn't flip in love eating meat and i and i don't think i could stop i have tried i've done vegan for three weeks and to give you more context I, and i've told you about this before nick i did a month of vegetarian in january i did a no i did a month of sorry pescatarian a month of vegetarian and then i tried to do a month of vegan and I, even with all the supplements and i was taking like vegan protein and stuff to make sure i had all the energy in i was in physical bits bro like for me i've never felt so weak in my life and i was making sure i had all of the calories i needed and more like i was properly measuring it uh, and I was a bit slimmer at the time and I just had no reserves left. I was struggling, mm. bro. But you say that, but then like you've got other people out there who claim that, you know, they go, they go vegan or veggie mm -hmm. and they've never felt better. So I guess yeah. it all comes down exactly. to exactly. who you are. Exactly. A hundred percent. I'm not, yeah, exactly, bro. I'm not trying to judge or anything, but for me, I was just like, so I'm just like, bro, I want my meat flavors and I want everything meat has in it. But if it, you know, without hurting anyone. Do you know what I mean? So I'm up mm. for it, bro. I'm 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 up for it. I want to try it out, but don't be trying to blend it in with regular beef and and hide it from me. I need to know that this is you know faux beef. Do well, you know I'll, I mean? I'll I'll let you uh, I'll let you try all that, and then you can let me know. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I mean, look, before we get out of it, I've I've had the air up thing that you didn't like last week that we spoke about, and I've been enjoying it. Like, I hate the Coca Cola flavor; that's disgusting. Don't, it tastes like somebody's le like poured a glass of Coke in the in the thing, drank it all, and then filled it up with water. But when I had the orange one, the orange one tastes nice, bro. Mm. It's got a nice orange tang to it, but you didn't like it anyway. Um, that's why I'd throw that in. I've been I've been like. Mm, I'm going to do a YouTube video with me tasting all the flavors. Mm. You, you, you do you, my friend. But uh, if I want, if I want orange juice, I'll just drink orange juice. <laughs> oh, yeah, old school. Oh, one more thing before we go, Nick. PayPal is allowing users to buy, hold, and sell cryptocurrency through its payment platform for the first time. You can accept Bitcoin. Mm. Mm. Says I a mean, lot, though. Yeah, I mean, when a big company like that kind of uh, embraces new tech i mean bitcoin's not even new tech anymore is it if we're being honest but you know what i mean when a company like that embraces something like that others will follow suit eventually yeah, yeah. you know it yeah you yeah. know it you 100 so like, percent know it this could be this could be the floodgates opening for bitcoin yeah because now now we're in a position where i can be like with my paypal account 
I can take all types of money and and sell it. So that means because before, let's be honest, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency still feels for your average day person like a bit of a hurdle. But a lot more people have a PayPal. Not everyone. Not like you know, I'm like my mum ain't got a PayPal. Yeah, but if I have, by most people having a PayPal, that means now I can be like, well, I'm crypto savvy. So when when we do finally make the NFTs of how to kill an hour and pop them out there, I can be like, yeah, just pay me via my PayPal account. Do you know what I mean? Those, NF- those NFTs will be worth billions. You know, I'm telling we, we you, already Ruff, know this. We, me and Nick, are, uh, we found the perfect type of bean we're going to be eating when we do farts on the pod and we're going to sell those because we know farts sell, don't they, Nick, bruv? Exactly. We've Let done me. an episode about that before. Yeah. So. Let me. And the first people to buy each of them, then we actually will send the shit that comes out after all that farting to them in yeah. the post as well. You'll get if it. If you really want it. You know? Yeah, yeah, it's there for you, bro. Absolutely there for you. Mm-hmm. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> but yeah, PayPal and Bitcoin. So yeah, we'll update you with that as we keep going. Um, I wanted to talk about Square Food, but maybe we can talk about that next week. I don't, I don't know if you've heard about Square Food. It's a startup that makes only cube food for you. <laughs> Have you got time to talk people, about that? People will literally do anything. <laughs> like, what the hell? Like, <sighs> why? So <laughs> they basically have designed this nutrient square, right? And they're called Square Eat because squarefood.com was probably taken. And it's normal food that's blips into a pulp and compressed into 50 gram squares. Disgusting. And- <laughs> what? It was born of the simple idea, what if you could eat squares? But it, it, it definitely delivers. Um, so they've created a new concept of food, which is squares. And it makes them by, like I said, blitzing them and compressing them into ready to eat 50 gram packages. And you can buy your squares in packs of four or six and have them delivered to your house. They can be in hot or cold, heated in a microwave or a frying pan and come in a dazzling array of flavors, including chicken. And might I say, Nick, this is real, not 3D printed. Chicken, beef, asparagus, peanuts, sea bass and salmon. It's a Miami based startup and they launched in June. And I don't understand whether they're taking a piss or not, but I am seeing their adverts out now. <laughs> I thought it was a joke when I read it, but I'm seeing their adverts out and about, bruv. They're real. A I'm square gonna of asparagus? You, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make a bold prediction here yep. and say, these guys will go out of business. There's my, <laughs> there's my bold prediction. All right, Nick. So if I can, though, if I can source you a sea bass, no, a chicken square, would you share that with me? Would you try those out, bruv? I have to see what it looks like because I'm fussy with the food, mate. Like if it looks, if it looks fucking weird, then no. <laughs> it looks like a square. It just looks like a little square of meat or a little square of potato. I thought somebody like yourself might enjoy it. You might be like, yeah, this is a bit of me. Mm, I don't know about that, mate. <laughs> I don't know about that, mate. The, the square of pistachio and cashew just looks like a square of, of green gunk. Like you're eating a big square bogey. That's not really the one. But yeah, we'll see. I mean, I, th- I think they're delivering. I mean, they're delivering only in the US at the moment. Oh, we need to get them delivering here in the UK. It then we'll disgusting. be good to go. Have you, looks, I've just sent Nick a picture looks, of it. Could you want to describe? It looks disgusting. <laughs> Beef mean? square, like basmati rice square. Why? Why is anyone buying this? Just have the basmati rice, sweet potato square. It looks like a jolly rancher. <laughs> They do. They the look like giant the, Jolly Ranch. Jolly Ranch. The zucchini square looks the same as the fucking asparagus square. <laughs> like, how do you even know what you got? Which looks the same as the pistachio and cashew square. Oh, wouldn't that be a shame if you accidentally confuse them and mix them up? Yeah, it's a bit like oh. Revels. And sometimes you get the coffee one and you're like, no! <laughs> you know what I mean? You're like, oh, oh, it's a big juicy caramel one. This You bite into it and go, God, yeah. you motherfucker. Got me with the coffee. Yeah. You bastards. Um, my favourite square out of these, and I pre, we'll put a link to this uh, on howtokillnow.com. My favourite looking one is the little sea bass square because they've put grill lines on it. So They've done that on the chicken. <laughs> oh, yeah, have they? Yeah. Well, oh, that's, that's so you fun. know it's meat. Oh, right, right. Um, got like, like, it's, like it's flame grilled. Yeah, yeah. Mm, I love a flame grilled. Um, Disgusting. You know my little, but this is totally not to do with tech. You know my little fishing adventure? You know I caught a fish the other day. Yeah. yeah, well done. I, I gutted it myself, you know. Grim. I did it, bruv. And you meant to chuck them back? Uh, I was allowed to catch. I was allowed to take one home. It wasn't catch yeah. and release. Yeah, yeah. So I was allowed to take one home. Did it, bruv. It was, Um, I thought I wouldn't be able to do it, but I just got into it. This so if you're insane. ever in an, if you're ever in a, a end of the world apocalyptic experience, because I know from going on various zombie nights out that 
that Nick Bright is a master when it comes to being serious with that gun. He is ready to kill zombies. But just so you know, Nick, when it comes to chefery, when I've got to make a rat look like something palatable, I've got you, brother. I'm all right, you know. I think I think I might if if we're ever in a post apocalyptic world, I might holler at these square guys. That 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 might that might start looking more appealing. Yes. <laughs> That might start looking a bit more appealing than, uh, than your than your gutted rat. We've had, I've actually launched a new podcast uh, called Ain't Got a Clue as well, where we talk about quiz questions. Uh, it's myself and Kay Curd. We will be having guests in the future. Nick Bright, you will be invited. Uh, basically, we deconstruct a quiz question, flip it on its head, talk about it, and all you've got to do by the end of the episode is remember the answer to the quiz question. So that's Ain't Got a Clue, currently on the front page of iTunes right now. Uh, iTunes, I'm so old school, podcast app in the UK, and on the Laugh Out Loud playlist on Spotify as well. So check that out, man. Where can we find you, Nick? iTunes, you know. Uh, just Nick Bright. <laughs> allow me, allow me, bro. Place. Allow me, allow me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you said. Nick Bright on Instagram is the best place to get me. I ain't on TikTok. All right, wicked. Yet yet you keep saying that yeah yeah plenty of times plenty of ways to kill time out there thank you for killing some time with us bless nice one